Assalamu alaikum and Wa Ramadan alaykum. Mubarak. Ramadan dear believers, Mubarak. dear Muslim, we witness always that there is no God except Allah, that Allah is one, alone, single, and unique, having no need of any partners. And we witness that Muhammad is his servant and his messenger, the prayer and the peace be upon him. We want to welcome everyone to this presentation and we pray to Allah that good come out of this presentation. As you know, the theme for the mosque care Ramadan session is Ramadan, the month of purification. We ask Allah always to guide our heart, our mind, our tongue, and our words and bless us only to say what is needed. This word, Ramadan, is a word that appears in the Quran one time. And this word, Ramadan, make it a Quranic word since it's used in the context of the Quran. And remember that it is the Quran that makes Ramadan special. Before the coming of the Quran, Ramadan was not a special word. And as you know, Ramadan is actually the name of a month, in particular, the ninth month. But now it becomes a Quranic word. And bear in mind that there were many Muslims who never fast in Ramadan, never participated in Ramadan, because at that time, Ramadan was not part of our faith. It is being revealed in a period of 23 years. So many people died and passed away before even hearing the ayat that talks about Ramadan. And this word appears in the Quran in the second surah, the 185th ayat. But the word Quran appears in the Quran 70 times. And the word fasting appears 13 times. So we can easily see that the Quran talks about the Quran and mention more than Ramadan. So again, Ramadan did not give birth to the Quran, but it was the Quran that gave birth to Ramadan. And whatever is special to Allah and his messenger becomes special to us. Allah gives the purpose of fasting in the Quran itself. Allah says that the purpose of fasting is to learn and to earn to be regardful of Allah, to earn and to learn taqwa, to be aware of Allah. So we can easily arrive that Allah does not desire hardship for us. And he mentioned this in the 185th ayat of the second surah, that he don't desire hardship for us. So it's not about who can fast the longest and who can go three and four days and who can go a week. It's not about hurting us. We're not in competition. Allah says that he desired for us to glorify him, to learn to glorify him, and to learn to show gratitude for guiding us. Now we have the right picture about fasting and about Ramadan. 